people of God, help me welcome our man of God and our prophet, Prophet Shaiju Matthew. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's always my honor to to be able to do this. Prophet, we're very excited. We want to hear what the Lord is speaking today. What is the Lord speaking? Second Peter chapter 2, verse 8. Let's start from two more verses above that. Going back to verse 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. Hmm. And so Sodom and Gomorrah was an example yes. for those who come after, who lives an ungodly life. So this is an example. So we have to study that mm. to understand what happens today. Okay, verse 7. Verse 7 says, And delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, for that righteous man dwelling among them, in seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day. That's verse 8. That's verse 8. Verse 7, one more time. And delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Okay. The, the context of uh, this is where Abraham was called to leave his family and follow the Lord. While God called Abraham out, he decided to let go of all the people that he was attached with. His father, his house. A prize that a general of God pays. He has to detach from people that he knew from birth. And he begins a, a fresh journey. So Abraham being the uncle, Lord sees and says, I'm coming with you. Mm. Maybe Lot has always looked up to Abraham and said, you know what, I'm leaving too. Mm. So he, Lot did not necessarily have a faith of his own, mm -hmm. but he is now banking on the faith of Abraham. Yes. And he starts now following Abraham. And as God blesses Abraham, Lot is being blessed. Mm -hmm. Notice God said, leave your kindred. But he's tagging along. Yeah. So God doesn't stop that. There are some people that tag with you, but don't, not necessarily supposed to be with you. Mm. Wow. And yet you can't stop them because they are tagging with you. It's their choice. Yeah. They are making a decision to follow you. So you respect that. And you have to wait and see uh, how long will they have this vision? How long will it last? Mm. Is this passion a three-day church camp passion? Is this a summer camp passion? Mm -hmm. Is this a year passion? Mm -hmm. yeah. So when God began to bless Abraham, his servants begin to find wells. You have to remember those days it was, it was huge to find a well because they didn't have the technology they had today. Yes. So to find a well was itself making you wealthy. Mm. So now lots shepherds, they are finding their own wells. And you see a fight that breaks between them both. Mm. This is when Abraham, in this case, the mentor, comes to Lot and says, you know what? Let's go our ways. Mm. You take what you want. Mm. I'm giving you the better option. If you take right, I go to the left. If you take left, I go to the right. Mm -hmm. Because Abraham is so confident about the grace of God that is on his life. Wow. That he says, give me no matter what. Mm -hmm. I'm not the victim. Yeah. I will not sit and be offended. Mm -hmm. I will not give excuses of my failures. Mm -hmm. I am the solution maker. Mm, so, wow. so he that is the identity from which Abraham is able to say, 
if you want to go right i go left you go left and it pleased the lord so he looked up his eyes and he saw a place that was more green i don't think lord realized that his grass is always greener on the other side mm-hmm. yes he didn't realize that the blessings that came upon him was not because of him mm-hmm. it was because of with whom he was yes but temporary success had caused his heart to desire to move away from the man that had was used by god to bless him mm-hmm. yeah temporary success mm-hmm. caused pride in his heart so just because a few you were able to successfully dig a few wells mm-hmm. are you ready to go by yourself come on yeah this is where root <laughs> was wise the young girl ruth was different from opra her other sister in law mm-hmm. yes navomi comes to her, both of them and say let's part ways i'm i'm had too many losses i have too many negative stories mm-hmm. both my sons have died i don't want you to be attached to my pain I don't want you my pain to be your pain. Mm-hmm. I don't want my shame to be your shame. So I'm giving you an option to part ways. Or for to get. Ruth refuses and may you die, I will die. Mm-hmm. Your God will be my God. Yeah. You see the same thing with Elijah. He goes to his first servant and said, "Thank you for serving me. Jezebel is coming after me. So let's part ways." He said thank you and the servant parted ways. Then came Elisha. He said look you have no more benefit of me. I've already given you all the anointing you need. Let me go. Mm. He said if God lives as my soul lives I shall not let you go. So every mentor in order for him to be a real mentor he has to grow to the maturity. where he is able to release the people that he is mentoring hmm. is probably the most painful part for a pastor for a spiritual parent but even biological parents there comes a time when they have to let go of their son and daughter hmm. so that they choose to have their own independent house location mm, yes but wisdom requires for them to understand that i am not looking to build another independent kingdom mm-hmm. we don't need a dozen kingdoms yes i can cause an acceleration in the kingdom of my father which would take me another two decades to do it on my own mm-hmm. you see so in order to reign together you must suffer together mm-hmm. so you're looking at lot who doesn't have that understanding she says okay now i've come this is what i needed in my life i wanted to grow a little i wanted to be able to stand on my own a little mm-hmm. now i know how to do business now i know how to hold the mic mm-hmm. now i have the experience mm-hmm. now i can go on my own that's the trap yeah that's the trap because that is where lot needed god more and more instead of being sent on an assignment he is sent because of a dispute wow that is where this verse begins my goodness he goes in there he's blessed in a area mm-hmm. okay he's blessed to prosper because mm-hmm. he is been with abraham long enough to receive the grace of prosperity mm-hmm. just by your right association you can receive a grace of prosperity wow yes there are some people that are blessed by the lord in the area of prosperity mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. and i can assure you those that attack prosperity are not in that group 
because wow. he cannot receive what you attack impossible impossible so you can just study your church your past and see how much do they attack a gift mm. if they are somebody that attacks the prophetic you can be sure that they are not somebody that he has from god mm. so what are you doing under a leadership yeah that does not hear god mm-hmm. so you have to be careful who we associate with mm, yes because what lot did not calculate was this man of god what where is calculation went wrong was from somebody that appreciated certain things in life like hearing god encountering god seeing visions believing in the prophetic believing in the prosperity Mm-hmm. believing in a god that speaks he changed his association and now he was with a group that was doing the opposite mm. okay. wow now this group insulted the prophetic mm-hmm. did not believe in god that prospered they began to speak and show him things do things that begin to do something to his soul mm yeah wow not to his spirit to his soul yeah if you can read that verse one more time go ahead verse 7 verse 7 and delivered just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked vexed okay go to verse 8 now for that righteous man dwelling among them so he was righteous mm. his heart was pure mm. his standing before the lord was right mm. so he doesn't did not necessarily speak like them right, right. he right. did not necessarily act like them yes okay so he was correct yet his senses okay go on for that righteous man dwelling among them mm. in seeing and hearing in seeing and hearing so he is right mm. he is not doing anything wrong he is not participating in what they are doing right yet visually and by his capacity to hear he was a loving an environment to feed his senses mm wow yeah by seeing and hearing what it, what happens to his soul it says by seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds Who vexed his soul vexed day to day meaning it was a daily hammering mm-hmm. of a soul mm-hmm. the word vexed the word vexed you're looking at somebody's soul being bent pressured down frustrated mm-hmm. cornered forced into something that they're not supposed to go right what is happening man of god is that non stop his eyes and ears began to receive inputs that was causing his soul to be vexed come on now we did use the example of a clean slate mm-hmm. soul is a clean slate yes uh, a usb drive that takes data in yeah. okay so he, his soul for the longest of time was with abraham yes okay abraham's purity is a standard mm-hmm. abraham's consecration is a standard yes abraham says this shall not enter my house so was for lot yes without realization lot was kept and protected by the standard of abraham mm-hmm. that is why god spoke to abraham saying how can i hide this from abraham knowing that he will lead his household i have it here man of god in genesis 18 in verse 17 says mm-hmm. and the lord said shall i hide from abraham that thing which i do mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation mm-hmm. 
and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. Mm -hmm. For I know him, Go on. that he will command his children and his household after him. Oh, see, that part is important. Knowing that he will command his children and his household. His household. Yeah. So God is saying, the reason I'm doing things with Abraham is, is because I know that whatever I do to him, it is going to not just impact him, it's going to impact him and his children and his whole household. Mm. So the Lord being with Abraham, Abraham's capacity to receive an instruction became Lord's protection. Mm, wow. Abraham's capacity to instruct his household, to command his, that's, command his children. Is that where? It says, for I know that he will command his children and his household. Yeah. So that is what God liked. He said, the reason I'm blessing Abraham is because whatever I give him, his input is going to flow into his household, mm. his children. Mm. When Lot associated with Abraham, mm. he's under a certain environment. So when he exited that environment, yes. what is he exiting? He's exiting that covering. That protection. Yeah. That protection of his soul. Wow. So, I need you to understand. He's still blessed. He's still able to dig wells. Mm -hmm. But what he lost was not the wells. Mm -hmm. What he lost was not the wealth. What he lost was the environment. Yeah. How much value do you give to an environment? Hmm. Child of God, may you never exchange the right environment for a nice looking well. Amen. Amen. That's what happened with Lord. He exchanged the environment he was in for a blessing, for a job, hmm. an environment. You see that with Bethlehem. Bethlehem was where famine was. Moab was where economically they were doing well. Mm -hmm. They moved physically to avoid famine. Mm -hmm. Yet people in the famine didn't die. Yes. But people who were economically doing good mm -hmm. had great deaths yes. among them. Yeah. What environment, what price are you willing to pay to be in the right environment? Mm -hmm. As I'm speaking, there is a mighty grace of God being released on this video. And I can tell by the wind that is blowing on this set that the Lord is really wrestling with some hearts. I can tell. I can interpret that wind. And I feel the Lord pushing me to tell the people of God. Don't lose the right environment Amen. for nothing. Don't lose the voice of God for nothing. Don't lose that environment for a job. Mm. Don't lose that environment for a friendship. Yes. Choose the environment of God Amen. over everything else. Now he goes there because there was a blessing that he perceived. He thought physically there is a blessing. Mm -hmm. But what he didn't realize was his soul started being beaten up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Bible specifically says it was day after day. Day after day. So the way the enemy tries to invade your soul, it's right here. And I want you to remind you of what I was, what I shared with you some time ago. Body is born once. Mm -hmm. Your spirit is born again. Yes. That's the second birth. But your soul, it has to be born every single day. It yes. has to be born again. Yes. Why? Because of this verse. Wow. 
verse 8. Yes. Solo es vexed. Yes, in verse 8 it said, For that righteous man dwelling among them, mm. in seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Day to day. Day to day. And I've got that word is the proof of how the enemy works our soul, how the enemy attacks on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Because soul is receiving information. Yes. So your spirit already has a standard. Mm -hmm. And Lord's spirit standard is what? Abraham. Abraham's standard. Lord's spirit is used to what Abraham was. That yes. is his standard. But how does the enemy infiltrate? He is starting to break in little by little into the soul of Lord by hammering it daily. Oh so he doesn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. He doesn't desire it. He genuinely, the Bible calls him upright, mm -hmm. meaning he's yes. a clean guy. Yeah. But the way the enemy enters, the way the enemy breaks into that righteousness is by bombarding your senses daily. Wow. Every day, Satan would bring something to Lot that his eyes was not supposed to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Every day, as he is walking around, he would see a sight mm -hmm. that his soul would be frustrated with. Mm -hmm. It was daily. Yeah. Every day he would hear something that would cause his soul to be uneven mm -hmm. from the frequency that he was used to before. Yes. Are you listening, people of God? Every day, his soul, there was a wrestling happening right now. What is happening? Soul is being pulled into the dark side. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, this is what I want you to, a child of God needs to understand. He was still called as a righteous man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yet, his eyes and ears was being bombarded. Yes. He was seeing things. He was hearing things that did not necessarily make him unrighteous. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Yet it vexed his soul. It vexed his soul, but he was still righteous. Yet, Bible calls him righteous. So it... I'm going to disturb some theologies right now. Please. So <laughs> seeing wasn't necessarily that which caused him to become unrighteous. Mm -hmm. This teaching goes back into what I taught about skills. The skills. The skills of heaven. How the enemy always tries to hijack us is by using the same principle of the scale. Mm -hmm. He keeps adding stuff into our soul. Adding stuff. At one point, we lose the equilibrium. Mm. At one point, our soul tells. So everything on your social media mm. is designed to hijack your soul. Wow. My God, I believe that just like Lot was hammered, soul was hammered daily. Everybody say it out loud. Daily. Daily. Yeah. In the same manner, every child of God, you have been hammered in your soul. Mm -hmm. Daily. Even today. Yes. More today. Lot maybe had to step out of the house to see things and hear things. Mm -hmm. But by introducing technology into our hands, mm -hmm. Satan has brought that filth into the house. The access to those things to see and hear. Mm -hmm. There was a time, a short time ago, where certain clothing was shocked upon. Today, the media has caused us to see it over and over again. The things that startled some of us 10 years ago don't startle us anymore. Mm -hmm. A little flesh was a big taboo some time ago. Mm -hmm. Today, 
people are not immediately shocked as much mm-hmm. with that little exposure yeah what is happening desensitizing your soul wow it is desensitizing mm-hmm. your soul is being non stop hammered when now you you don't feel guilty about something that once upon a time it caused great guilt mm-hmm. it brought great conviction mm-hmm. it brought great fear and trembling mm-hmm. now you can see the same thing and it doesn't cause you the same fear and trembling now you can behave or say or flirt or do something in a certain way and not feel as bad mm. why because satan has continuously hammered your soul mm. and vexed it mm-hmm. yeah. frustrated it to a point where now you give up mm. resisting yeah you give up not pushing you give into it now mm. now your soul is like you know you are fed up you are tired of resisting now you give it mm. this is where the lord jesus is coming in search of a sheep mm. this is where i like the next verse if you can read in verse 9 mm. the lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations god knows yeah how to deliver the godly not everybody those who fear god godly those who fear god those who say god i really don't want this that is your hope mm-hmm. that is your hope that is your hope your hope is that there is grace available yes okay yes i need to i need to go back to this one more time those that have been on this journey i want you to be encouraged you are no more the same person you have been upgraded by the lord amen okay that is foundation yes okay lot you have been on a journey with abraham mm-hmm. you are no more that young man that left your father's house mm-hmm. yes on the journey with abraham you have been upgraded mm-hmm. now that you have up- upgraded even though your soul is being under attack you are not been downgraded yet do you get me wow even though your eyes have been under attack you have not been downgraded not downgraded yet. so if satan wants to win over you what must he convince you he must convince you that you have seen too much mm-hmm. you've heard too much mm-hmm. that now your soul is no more who you are wow that you have been downgraded mm-hmm. if he can convince you that you are not worthy mm-hmm. if he can convince you you are not qualified my god now you will eat the pig's food and yet all the while you are still a son so you can downgrade yourself yet all the while you are still that grace is still on you mm. that anointing is still on you mm-hmm. and yet in your soul yeah. you have been downgraded mm-hmm. now when your soul is under you you give up mm-hmm. you give up resist yeah there is a powerful verse that says yet in wrestling against sin you have not wrestled unto death i have it here prophets in hebrews chapter 12 verse 4 mm-hmm. ye have not resisted unto blood striving against sin okay striving wrestling so in your wrestling against sin mm-hmm. you have not you have not resisted unto blood striving against sin you have not resisted unto unto blood unto blood meaning unto death mm-hmm. don't tell don't act like give me another version on that verse In the ESV it says hmm. 
in your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood. <laughs> so those that think that, oh, I have too much temptation, oh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm wrestling, oh, please help me, please pray for me. Here, yeah. the Lord is saying, what are you crying about? Mm. Because in your struggle against sin, in your yeah. wrestling yeah. against sin, you have not struggled to what? You have not struggled until the point of shedding. Point of shed, meaning nobody has held a knife to your neck yeah. and said, if you don't do this sin, I'm going to cut off you. You know, yeah. you have not gone to that extent mm -hmm. where now you have to die to resist this mm -hmm. sin. So our wrestling is still under that place where we can overcome. Mm, wow. So when Satan is attacking your eyes, your ears, mm -hmm. Your spirit, yeah. your soul, your body. You have to remember, you have not wrestled sin yeah. to the point of death. Remember this. That is what will give you strength to fight better. Mm. When you feel like, oh, I've seen too much. Yeah. Have you? Come on. Not unto death. Mm -hmm. Not unto shedding of blood. Mm -hmm. When you feel like, oh, my, I, 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 this is too much a temptation, is it? Mm -hmm. There is no shedding of blood yet. Mm -hmm. That's when yeah. you can really complain. That's when you can really give up. Wow. So the Lord is saying, you haven't sh wrestled against sin to the shedding of blood. Child of God, no matter what Satan is doing, remember, deception is in your head. Yes. So he wants to deceive you in your thinking. Wow. In your thinking, he wants to feel like you've gone through too much. My goodness. In your thinking, he wants you to believe that you have been too tempted. Mm. You have seen things that are too tempting mm. for you to fight. Mm. He wants you to believe that you've hurt too much. You've, you've given up too much. Mm -hmm. That now he wants to make you feel like, oh, I can't do this anymore. And mm -hmm. then yeah. you give up. Yeah. And then you stop being the righteous of God mm. and you allow the enemy to enter. Mm -hmm. That's what he's waiting for. Wow. He's waiting for you to give up in your struggle against sin. Mm -hmm. One more time, one more time, one more time. I'm telling you this teaching, yeah. Satan yeah. hates it. Satan wants you to give up and give in. Mm -hmm. Satan wants yeah. you to give up and give yeah. in. Yeah. Today we come against that spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He that called us is faithful. Man of God, go to Philippians chapter 1 verse 6, please. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. Philippians chapter 1 mm -hmm. verse 6. And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. One more time, please. And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you, he who began a good work in you, he who began a good work in you, will bring it to completion. Will bring it to completion. Mm -hmm. I want the entire church, wherever you're listening, to give a big shout to the Lord. Yes. He is able. Amen. I said He is able. Mm -hmm. This promise is over you. Now remember what God said. He's able to keep the godly. Yes. Okay? That is in Second Peter. Yes. 2 verse 9. Then the Lord knows how to rescue the godly yeah. from trials. How does He do it? Through the Word of God. The Word of God is what is used to renew your soul. Mm. Wow. As the word is coming to you this morning, it is pure water. Mm. <laughs> Come on. It's pure water that is cleansing your soul. Mm. It's flowing all over this place. It's touching people right now. It's touching you in your house. 
Somebody is crying. I see somebody on your knees. I see somebody just thanking the Lord. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. It's pure water. It is cleaning your soul. Cleaning your soul. You are not what you saw. Thank you, Jesus. You are not what you've heard. You see, God told Abraham, he will command mm-hmm. his household yes. and his children. In the same way, we have that responsibility. And I'm commanding my household, my children in the Lord, mm. the people of God. I'm commanding you, refuse to give in to the hammering of your soul. Refuse it. Refuse it. Doesn't matter how cute she is or how hot he is, refuse the hammering. Mm. I want you to take a breath in and receive this word into your soul. Tell the devil this lie. I'm seeing somebody rip off a scale off their eyes right now. Things that have been taunting you. I know, I know, I know, I know. I've been praying for you. So I know, I know what has been happening the last one week. Membrokosa, everything that the enemy is doing to taunt you. Rip it off right now. Your eyes mm. are mm. opening right now Amen. in the name of Jesus. I wish the church Amen. can shout aloud, Amen. Amen. Go ahead, just clap your hands and begin to praise the Lord. Let praise burst in your spirit. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Receive grace, people of God. Receive grace. It's raining in the house. It's raining. The grace of God is raining into your soul. Everything that is dirty being washed away. Every guilt is being washed away. Every condemnation is being washed away. Oh, Santa Mama Mama. Fear of God is returning. Areas that you lowered your standard, your standard is coming back up again. Mm. Thank you, Lord. You only fail, child of God, when you remain failed. When you remain fallen on the ground, that is when you fail. Yes. Now, is this, I'm telling you, the, the attack of the enemy is what? To make you disbelieve who you are. Mm. Yes. The attack against Lot is to make him forget who he was. Mm-hmm. To make him forget who he was so that they can make him one among them. Yes. You will not become one among them. Amen. Yes. You will not forget who you are. Amen. I wish you can just shout it out loud. I will not forget who I am. I will not forget who I am. My God. We are just so grateful for the weight of God on this video. The Lord is helping. Huh? <laughs> ah, I see beautiful oceans. I just saw a chain, Pastor. I just saw a chain. And it broke like, when it broke, it turned into a rubber band. Come on. Chains are breaking like a rubber band breaking. Break, Amen. break, 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 Amen. break. Amen. Yes. Break, break, yes. break, break, break. Somebody yes. shout, break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Break, 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 break. Somebody shout, I am free. I am free. I am free. I am free. Somebody shout, I am free. I am free. I see angels of the Lord assisting you right now. I see angels of God being sent in every area that the enemy was vexing you, frustrating you, bending you down, cornering you down, making you to give up who you are. That devil is exposed this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. Rande Kambrokosia, pray in the spirit all over this place. Mamprata Kambrokosia, pray in the spirit as loud as you can. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Lanta I need you to confess every evil covenant you have made. 
unknowingly there are some people that have begin to communicate with certain individuals that you're not supposed to have communicate and i see the imprint of satan trying to come into your life the lord is restoring you right now right mm-hmm. now but but the lord is lord is not letting me to just move on he's telling me to tell you that you have to confess that that relationship that has been touching your soul confess it out right now membra kase kada because yeah i'm seeing another individual there is somebody that you have been in touch with that is from it's a coastal land there is somebody that you have been in conversation who is from a coastal land your soul has been vexed because of that break in the mighty name of jesus Amen. confess that confess that confess that the reason i'm telling you is that because i see a a a, a, a goddess a woman mm. demon wow that's that's what it is but she's like the in charge of that island mm-hmm. that demon is now trying to claim you hey hey zibu man takasi aba i can give you proof because it has been even attacking your dream realm ran dene bebe sia right now i want you to tear down this garment of sin tear down tear Amen. it down tear it down Amen. somebody disconnect yourself from every Amen. sin in your life disconnect yourself confess lord mm. your scripture says that if you confess you will have mercy mam rokoza taya rebese kataraba ba we receive your mercy lord we receive your mercy we know who we are we know who we are my soul shall not be vexed Oh we thank God for the word that says a free man of God. We thank God for the word that is setting people mm-hmm. free. Because you see when you have been seeking God consistently for an extended period of time mm-hmm. then the Bible says Satan came to tempt Jesus. Yes. So the closer you pursue God the more temptations has to come to you. My goodness. You see that immediately after that 40 days it wasn't like Jesus was lifted up into the glory. Mm-hmm. No, immediately Satan came to tempt him. Yes. So the more you are going closer to God, new environments will bring new beasts. My goodness. The Bible says wild beasts mm-hmm. came to attack. Yeah. Wild beasts came around Jesus. Angels were dispatched. Angels are dispatched this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lande ko monosikata ya. Reto prokosia. Oh hallelujah. Oh we thank God. Somebody has to thank the Lord right mm. now right mm. now right mm. now. Thank him thank him yes, thank him. Yes, yes, somebody yes. praise him. Somebody give to him. Somebody go on in his somebody build an altar. Somebody mm. shout a praise. Somebody shout mm. hallelujah. Hara mm. hallelujah. Haro manta magasia. There is a great freedom this morning. There is great freedom. There is great victory. Angels are celebrating. I see angels celebrating. Oh God. Come on. I see angels celebrating. Angels are happy. when a child of god that has been vexed angels were dispatched to bring lot out mm-hmm. randa mana hasana mm. angels hey, have been hey. dispatched to bring you out come on this Amen. morning this morning angels have been dispatched to bring you out amen oh warrior of god child of god don't forget that you are called to serve the lord mm. what mm. are you doing mm. under the juniper tree yes. what are you doing fallen what are you doing vexed um, by uh, what you see in here out of that this morning speaking to some people that are supposed to be in serving the lord i see you being vexed mm. you are free there is such a grace on this video don't underestimate it thank the lord for it thank the lord that that you could have been anywhere else but you're watching this right now that is the lord's doing because he wanted to set you so free you may have seen things you may have heard things but you are not what you see mm. amen you are not what you've heard mm. the love of the lord has brought this word to you yes 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 the love of the lord has brought this word to you amen so i want to strengthen this part of you mm-hmm. i i used to think that was yeah, i used to think that in fact i i remember when i first went to my father that's the first thing i i asked him can you can you do this so that you know there will be no more temptations in my life yeah and he laughed he laughed yeah um so i want to just strengthen this part of you mm-hmm. even apostle paul my god you see that in romans 7:22 onwards romans 7:22 
I have it here, Prophet. Romans chapter 7, verse 22. Hmm. For I delight in the law of God hmm. after the inward man. Okay. He delights in the law mm-hmm. after the inward man. So the inward man is what? The spirit. The spirit. Okay. The spirit man. Saying, I delight in the things of God. Mm-hmm. If you delight in the things of God, let your amen be loud. Amen. Uh, uh, praise God. Praise God. Okay. And the next. But I see another law. In but, my- but. I see another law, okay? In my members. Hmm. Another law in my members, okay? Warring against the law of my mind. Okay, the law of my mind. What realm is that? That's the soul. The soul realm, okay? Go on. And bringing me into captivity. And bringing me into captivity. So, the war in your members of your body, Mm -hmm. okay? The organs that were created by the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's still created by the Lord, yet there is a war there. Yes. Okay. And then that war is creating a war in the mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the flesh is calling to the dust that it was brought from. Yes. Okay. We don't want to touch that because (laughs) it's a teaching by itself. I covered that a few weeks ago. I that was a deep one, yes. Uh, and then you're looking at that war. Mm-hmm. What is that war leading to? That war is leading to captivity. captivity. Meaning to capture you. To capture you again. Satan wants to capture you, mm. bind you, yeah. arrest you. Yeah. That means that you will no more have the victory you're supposed to have because now you have become enslaved to your realm of the soul, yeah. to the desire of the soul. Mm-hmm. How could you allow that? You cannot allow that. You have to tell that, hey, if I find this temptation too hard, it is in my mind because I have not wrestled unto death. Wow. So what the enemy wants to do is when you your soul is being in sync with your spirit, mm-hmm. that oneness is coming between your soul and the spirit. Mm. Oneness. Yeah, that's a topic for another day because remind me, I can maybe share it next week. Mm. Because that 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 if you learn that part of oneness, it'll take off. Take off. It's a, it's a, okay. We'll cover that another time. Uh, so what the enemy is doing is to capture you in this part, mm-hmm. so that now your spirit is different. You're not able to be in sync because this soul is now arrested. Yes. Your soul is now arrested with the things of the world. You're not able to take off the way you want to take off. Mm-hmm. Go on. Oh, wretched man that I am. Okay. So this is who saying this? This is Paul. Apostle Paul. Yes. Who has gone up to third heavens. <laughs> yes. Who has encountered the Lord. Yes. who has seen the Lord face to face, mm-hmm. thinks that no other man has seen things that he cannot utter. What is happening is his spirit has seen things nobody else has seen. Mm-hmm. His spirit has heard things that nobody else has seen. Yet his soul is being hammered. Mm. Wow. His soul is also seeing things. Mm-hmm. His soul is also experiencing certain things. Wow. To the point where I say, oh, wretched man I am. Mm. Now, when he says wretched man, which part of him is he referring to? <laughs> we got to learn this, people of God. we got to learn this. Which part? Is he talking about the part that is anointed? Is he talking about the part where he can walk and his shadow, his handkerchiefs can heal the sick? Mm. Is he talking about the part where... God is using him mightily to build churches. Is he talking about the part where thousands have come to the Lord because of his letters? And it is saying, wretched man that I am. Mm -hmm. He's talking about the soul part of him that is now being vexed. Yes. Jesus. That is why, child of God, this teaching is coming to you. If Satan can make you believe that you are unholy, because how your soul is vexed, mm-hmm. the 
then he has won. If Satan can make you believe that you are not worthy because of how much your soul is being hammered, mm-hmm. then Satan has won. If Satan can deceive that you are no more the general of God than you are mm-hmm. because he is successfully hammering your soul, mm-hmm. then Satan has won. Wow. But this morning, Satan has lost. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Your eyes, the scales that was on your eyes have been ripped open in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Mm. Yes. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a beautiful vision. I haven't, uh, I haven't seen that before. Um, it's, it's a sword on this side and it's a sword on the right side. And mm. there is a place that you can hold in the mm-hmm. middle. I haven't seen that kind of a weapon before in the natural, but I'm seeing that in the vision. The Lord is giving that. I'm, I'm seeing somebody wielding it like a, you know, man, I've got the, the, the stick that they do use in martial arts with yes. it. I'm seeing same thing, but except that is sword. Mm. And it it is, it is one such tool that God is releasing this morning through this video, that those that are watching, you will have an unusual advantage, mm. a tactical advantage. This information is becoming a tactical advantage in your spirit where you will look at Satan and you will mock him. You will laugh at him. You can say, you do whatever you want to do, Satan. My eyes, my ears may be traumatized by what you want to expose me to, but I know who I am. Man. I am not false. I belong to the Lord. Mm. I have been upgraded. Yes. I have been covered. Because I like what Apostle Paul says, man of God, he says, wretched man that I am. And mm. then he goes on to explain. Who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Okay. So who shall deliver me from the body of this, this death? death? So he's saying that this, this body mm-hmm. carries death. Yes. Okay. This, this flesh came from the dust. Yes. It's calling me back to the dust. Yes. It's calling me back to, he's saying, who shall live? So in other words, he's saying that this struggle only ceases to be a struggle when you leave this life. Mm. Okay. Mm, yeah. So so th- now this information I'm telling you is, is, is a million dollar worth. Wow. Because you fail because you don't realize what the reality is in the spirit realm. Mm-hmm. So now mm-hmm. information is coming to your spirit. You can never be the same again. Amen. I am telling you, irrespective of, of what you're going through, no matter how anointed you are, no matter yeah. how many days you prayed. Yeah. Apostle Paul is saying, the only way I can escape this is when? When I die. When I die. That is why Apostle Paul will say, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Yes. Meaning if I live, Christ is glorified. Mm-hmm. If I die, it's still good. Yes. Because I'm delivered from this this crazy body. Mm. So as long as you are on this earth, your soul will be vexed of the enemy. My goodness. The only thing that you can do is you put safeguards. It's a choice. Sometimes it is as simple as deleting that app. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it is as easy as just turning off that phone. Mm-hmm. Sometimes if turning off doesn't work, sometimes you just need to break it. Mm-hmm. You know, So you can never give up because you feel like I can't hold it anymore mm-hmm. because you have not wrestled unto death. Yeah. So I'm setting a new standard in this household. Oof, we wrestle on. unto death. To death. Okay. Mm. So that te- we give in to the temptation when then the death is the only point. Where we say, okay, now death has visited. Mm-hmm. So we have not been tempted unto death. That means you can do it. Yes. Amen. We can do it we together. Do it. That's the word of God purifies us daily. Because Satan vexes you daily. Mm-hmm. Yes. Through your five senses. Yes. He vexes you daily. He vexes you daily. He vexes you daily. So the word has to purify you daily. Amen. Yes. Yes. There is also a reason why the word that comes to you Sunday after Sunday is so loaded. Mm-hmm. I've, I'm not studied in the human schools. 
this is from the lord this is god helping us Amen. this is god giving us information this is god reminding us the scriptures Amen. this is god giving us this strength this yes. is god giving us hope somebody give the lord some gratitude for this somebody say lord thank you thank, thank you, you thank 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 you for the fresh word thank that is coming thank, thank you for the you fresh manna in us bear thank you for thank fresh you. hope thank you for thank the you. fresh strength Jesus. Somebody comment I have fresh strength this morning yeah. because that's that's a prophecy. Can't or broke a prophecy over yourself. Some of you are so far that I can't lay hands on you fresh. but lay hands on yourself and yes. prophesy yes. this morning. I have fresh strength. I have fresh strength. I'm seeing a very unique vision as as I was saying fresh strength. I see a mm. flood. Mm. A renta brokosi ataka. I see a somebody and and i see one of their slipper is floating on the river mm-hmm. and is just they're trying to reach it but it's float, floating away zente ke borobo yantaka usually when you see shoes and sandals it is a representation of an assignment mm-hmm. satan has been trying to overflood your senses yes where you feel like i i can't do this anymore and you are loving your assignment to be hijacked come on i come against that lie in the name of jesus amen your senses overload sensory overload mm. do you remember that teaching kata yes. bagasia everything is 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 coming together this morning me yes. bro sheta baga everybody pray in the spirit Kasa all over this place Kasa all over this place Kasa let Kasa your voice be heard in the spirit realm yes you're getting it back you're getting it back again the lord showed me that vision hey, and this individual is just scooping hey, back this sand hey, come on hallelujah <sighs> somebody rejoice with a mighty voice amen hallelujah let there be a celebration in your house the celebration chases demons away mm Yes, yes 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 everywhere every overflow room every church that is watching this let there be a celebration hallelujah let there be a celebration mm. kato brogosia yes. okay go on what does he talk about it verse 24 oh wretched man that i am who shall deliver me who shall deliver me it's a question he's mm. asking who shall deliver me what is the answer to that question he says i thank god through Jesus Christ our through lord Jesus Christ our lord so there is a place where your spirit is blessed mm-hmm. to rule over your mind through Jesus Christ the word in your spirit rules your soul mm. amen word that is coming to you this morning is ruling over every brokenness amen vexation mm. shamefulness yes embarrassment mm-hmm. of your soul mm-hmm. the word is covering your nakedness amen the word is covering you this morning mm. the word is protecting you this morning amen the word is bringing you back into the mighty light amen the word through jesus christ our lord the only lord and savior the lover of our soul the soon coming king the king of kings and the lord of lords the god of all lights mm. the source of our light the one and only master the author and finisher of our faith the prince of peace the mighty king the lord jesus through him through him as long as we live on earth there is vex- vexations mm-hmm. but through jesus through jesus this morning somebody shout jesus jesus through jesus satan hates that name mm-hmm. through the lord we are strengthened we do not stand because we can we stand by his grace We do not complete this race because we were able. Mm. But we do it by his grace. Amen. Jesus is coming back again. Jesus is coming back again. 
Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming back again. That's the focus, man of God. The Lord Jesus is coming back again. He'll take us by. We don't belong to this earth. While we are on this earth, we establish His kingdom and dominion. We we'll never forget to sing hallelujah. We'll sing His praises and we will move forward victoriously. Amen. Victoriously. I don't want to end because of the sweet presence of the Lord. I like that presence. The Lord is removing you from every wrong place that the enemy has made you to land. God told Moses, take off your shoes. Where you are is holy ground. God is calling us to a deeper place of purity, deeper place of consecration. Let us then pursue that with new passion, new zeal. My household is are they listening? It's my children listening. It's the people of God listening. Then let's sing hallelujah. You're blessed. <laughs>